So supposed comet is catching the attention of some of the nation's most renowned scientists. As one Harvard professor is raising the theory, this may actually be a piece of alien technology. The three I Atlas, this new object uh, in March 2026, when it will come very close to Jupiter. We got real data and what it's showing, crazy. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, one of the top scientists on the planet, believes this might not be just some dusty space rock. He's even pushing to intercept it before it vanishes for good. We're talking high-res images, deep space scans, and orbital tracking that flip the script. It's packed with water ice older than Earth, laced with organic molecules buried in ancient space dust. And its path, wild, it's flying in reverse, swinging by Venus, Mars, Jupiter, on a retrograde orbit. And the coma? It doesn't even act like a normal comet. Nothing about this thing is playing by the rules. So here's the real question, one that some scientists are too shook to ask. What if 3IATLAS isn't a comet at all? Avi Loeb and others say we gotta stay open to wild possibilities. What if this thing is artificial? See, for centuries we thought nothing ever came from beyond the sun's pull. And if it did, it'd be a once in a thousand lifetimes moment. But that idea got wrecked in 2017 when Oumuamua showed up. No tail, no outgassing, just a weird acceleration we still can't explain. Then in 2019, 2I Borisov came blasting through, totally active, clearly a comet, but chemically alien compared to anything in our solar system. After that, silence. Until July 1, 2025. That's when 3IATLAS showed up out of nowhere. The Atlas survey in Chile spotted it, just a tiny dot flying too fast and from the wrong direction, a hyperbolic orbit straight out of the constellation Sagittarius. And ever since, the mystery's only grown bigger. That direction it came from? That's no small detail. 3IATLAS came flying in from Sagittarius, right near the galactic center, a zone packed with stars, radiation, and so much cosmic noise, it's like trying to spot a firefly in Times Square. It's one of the hardest parts of the sky to watch. Which means, this thing could have been sneaking up on us for years without anyone noticing. By the time it was spotted, it was already inside Jupiter's orbit, moving at nearly 60 kilometers per second, way too fast to be trapped by the sun's gravity. This thing's on an open orbit, just passing through and never coming back. And get this, it's flying retrograde, cutting across the solar system against the flow of all the planets. Now here's what's got scientists really sweating. This is the third interstellar object we've found in just eight years. Before Oumuamua? Nothing. Now they're popping up, and always too late to act. So what's going on? Maybe our tech just got better. Maybe these things were always out there and we just missed them. Or maybe, and this is where it gets deep, something changed out there in space. Could it be gravitational waves? Shifting star paths? Some kind of galactic shakeup? A few researchers are even asking the uncomfortable stuff. Are we drifting into a denser zone in the galaxy? Is some invisible force throwing more debris into our path? Or is this sudden pattern not natural at all? When Oumuamua came, we had zero warning. With Borisov, we barely got a look. But 3 IATLAS? This one's different. It's bigger, brighter, and slower. Which means, for the first time ever, we can actually study one of these interstellar visitors in real time. And that's where it gets wild. Within days of detection, the biggest telescopes on Earth locked in. Vera Rubin, Gemini South, VLT, Hubble, and most importantly, JWST. And even from over 600 million kilometers away, what they saw was nothing like what they expected. Here's the first shock. By the time we spotted three IATLAS, it was already active. A coma, that cloudy halo of gas and dust, had formed. It even had a tail stretching out into space. But here's the twist. That tail wasn't pointing away from the sun like comets usually do. 
it was pointing toward it. That's a huge red flag. Why? Because that kind of behavior means the dust is made up of larger, heavier particles, way too chunky to get blown away by solar radiation like normal comet dust. That's not typical for comets, and scientists knew something was off. Then came the spectral scans. NASA's Infrared Telescope and Gemini South Observatory hit us with the receipts. They found water ice, organic molecules, silicates, and carbon-rich material. Sure, some of that shows up on comets, but not like this. What makes 3IATLAS different? It's ancient, like seriously ancient. We're talking over 7 billion years old, older than Earth, even older than the Sun. Orbital analysis shows this thing likely came from the thick disk of the Milky Way, a region packed with ancient stars and raw, untouched space junk, not the kind of area where shiny new comets are born. This thing's been flying solo in the galaxy for billions of years. At first, scientists thought it was maybe under one kilometer wide, like Borisov, but newer, sharper measurements flipped that idea. It's now believed to be somewhere between 4 and 11 kilometers across. That would make it the biggest interstellar object we've ever detected. By far. And that's not the only weird part. Its path, almost perfectly aligned with the plane of our solar system, just 5 degrees off. That's suspiciously close to the same launch window we use for sending probes. Not only that. It's cruising right past Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, in that order. What are the odds of that happening by chance? Mark your calendars. 3IATLAS reaches perihelion, its closest point to the Sun, in late October 2025, sitting at about 1.4 astronomical units. And everything about this thing is screaming that it's not your average space rock. Here's the frustrating part. While 3IATLAS reaches its most active phase, it's going to be completely hidden from Earth. Why? Because from our angle, it'll be behind the Sun, totally blocking all ground-based telescopes, just when we need eyes on it the most? Blackout. But not all hope is lost. Two spacecraft might be able to catch a glimpse. JUICE, Europe's mission heading toward Jupiter, and NASA's Psyche mission, currently flying through the asteroid belt. Both will be within 0.3 to 0.4 astronomical units of 3 IATLAS during this critical window. That's close enough to potentially observe it directly, if the mission teams decide to go for it. Here's what we do know. 3 IATLAS isn't just some cool discovery, it's unprecedented. This is a straight-up relic from the ancient galaxy, sliding right through our backyard. But even with all the data, something about it still doesn't add up. Start with the orbit. Yes, it's retrograde, which fits the interstellar profile, but its inclination is only 5 degrees off the solar system's plane. That's way too aligned for something that's supposedly drifting in from deep space. Most visitors show up at steep, random angles. This one, practically gliding through like it's on a planned route. And the approach path? Also weird. It came in undetected from Sagittarius, then cut through the inner solar system. Venus, then Mars, then Jupiter. A clean, straight path that orbital models call coincidence, but not everyone's buying that. Avi Loeb, never one to shy away from bold ideas, just went all in. He's now suggesting 3 IATLAS might be artificial, maybe even a probe. He points to the precise trajectory, the rare alignment, and possible signs of non-gravitational acceleration as reasons we need to look closer. His latest paper, not peer-reviewed, even drops a bombshell. 3 IATLAS might be hostile alien tech. That claim lit up the community fast, and yeah, Mainstream scientists were quick to push back hard. Most scientists still say there's no solid proof that 3 IATLAS is artificial. Its activity, yeah, it checks out like a natural comet. But here's the thing, the doubt still lingers. Because this isn't just about one object, it's about the pattern. Three interstellar objects in just eight years, all of them spotted late, 
sometimes barely in time, slipping through tiny observational blind spots, and all of them messing with what we thought we knew about our lonely corner of the universe. It forces a disturbing question. Are these really just random cosmic tourists? Or are we only now starting to notice what's been flying by us this whole time? Or worse, are we only catching the ones that want to be seen? There's no sign of an invasion, let's be clear. But there's also no comfort in what we're learning. Right now we've got a massive, ancient object, older than the sun itself, just passing through like it owns the place. Quiet, mysterious, and soon, gone. It's not attacking us, but it is reminding us. The universe? It's way older, way weirder, and maybe way less empty than we thought. 3-I-A-T-L-A-S won't be around much longer. In just a few months, it'll slip behind the sun, fade into the outer solar system, and vanish back into the cosmic dark. Another visitor from the stars, logged, studied, but never fully understood. We'll have the data, tons of it. Spectral scans, orbital tracks, high-res shots from the best tech Earth's got. But even with all that, the big question stays unanswered. What was it, really? Sure, it acted like a comet but one that's older than our star, with a path to perfect, and a makeup that doesn't follow the usual script. It moved like it had a purpose. Its dust behaved strangely. Its materials told stories from ancient corners of the galaxy we've never touched. But here's where it all flips. 3-I-A-T-L-A-S might not be a one-off after all. Astronomers around the world have quietly started tracking similar objects a growing family of weird visitors moving through the solar system. And they all share one thing in common, stealth. No visible gas, no glowing dust tails, and yet, somehow, they're being pushed by invisible forces. The math shows they're moving with measurable jet-like thrust, but there's no outgassing, no signs of what's causing it. These are now being grouped into a brand new category, dark comets. It started as a fringe idea, but now, it's gaining traction, and it brings back the question Avi Loeb won't let go of. What if 3-I-A-T-L-A-S isn't natural? What if it's a craft, using some kind of tech we can't even recognize? Loeb argues that regular comet models can't explain the non-gravitational acceleration. Some say it's hydrogen ice venting, but Loeb fired back, saying that wouldn't explain why there's no visible trail and why it stays cooler than it should. And he's not just talking, he's planning. Loeb and the Interstellar Probe Working Group have a blueprint called Project Lyra, a mission that would chase one of these objects. Launched on a Falcon Heavy, or maybe even Starship, it'd swing past Jupiter for a gravity slingshot, then dive close to the sun to sling itself straight at the target, intercept style. If they pull this off, It'll be the first time humanity has ever chased something from another star. We're talking real-time contact with an object that might be older than the solar system, or maybe not even natural at all. Here's what's wild. Even with all our high-tech tools, we've barely scratched the surface of what 3-I-A-T-L-A-S could really be. The closer we look, the stranger it gets. And now, the space community is split. Is it just an exotic comet? Or the first message in a bottle from something way beyond us? Some experts say its composition alone should be ringing alarms. That mix of carbon-rich compounds, primordial silicates, and ancient ice. It's like a recipe from the galaxy's origin story. That's not just science. That's history frozen in time. Others point to the perfect timing. Why now? Why, after billions of years, does this object pass through the inner solar system just when we have the tech to study it? Could it be pure chance? Or are we looking at something that's timed its arrival? And let's not forget, every time one of these interstellar visitors shows up, it makes less sense than the last. Oumuamua moved like it had steering, Borisov was chemically alien, and now 3-I-A-T-L-A-S is breaking rules we didn't even know existed. One thing's clear, we're entering a new era of discovery. And with each strange object, it's like the galaxy is peeling back the curtain a little more. 
Whether these things are probes, relics, or something in between, they're forcing us to rethink what we know about space and who or what might be out there. Because maybe space isn't just full of rocks and gas. Maybe it's full of messages, travelers, or even warnings. And the craziest part? Three IATLAS might just be the first one we actually caught in time. Maybe three IATLAS really is just a cosmic leftover, a broken shard from some ancient forgotten system. Or maybe it's something else, a tool, a signal, a fragment of intelligence from a mind not like ours. Truth is, we don't have the tech to answer that yet, but we're getting closer, one mystery at a time. Because 3IATLAS isn't just another space rock. It's a reminder that the universe was never silent. We just weren't listening. If this video blew your mind, hit subscribe, like, share, and drop your thoughts in the comments below.